And so then, are you saying that left hand side equals to the right hand side? Yes, it's a identical behavior. No, you're shitting me. Yes, and I keep smiling because that was my genuine reaction when I first time saw happy in action. So welcome everyone and today I would like to tell you about happy script. So this video is dedicated for script runner. So if you are run running, if you're using script runner or Jira server or data center, stay tuned because I've got something what is probably is gonna knock your socks off. And by the way, if you maybe are just thinking to start using script runner or just start scripting in Jira, this thing completely changes my approach and I believe thousands of us. So I'm gonna show you some few examples how to use that new happy, new interface. I'm just gonna explain what it is. And I'm gonna also give you a few real life examples. And by the way, yes, this video is sponsored by Adaptavist. Okay, so now before you're gonna see happy in action, let me very, very, very quickly explain what it is, how it works, and how to start it. So, of course, I'm gonna jump into Adaptavis website when I'm gonna show you just a little bit. So don't worry, we're not gonna spend too much time on this. All right, let's get do it. Right, so before you're gonna see Happy in Action, let's very, very quickly talk what it is. And I've got this actually slide, not this one, this one for you. And in a, like a very simple word is the extension what provides to Atlassian Java API. So it is not something new. Uh, it is very, very actually close to like this natural groovy because groovy is actually very, very powerful language, but it's more than that. It is also that completely redesigned, for instance, a console and how you're gonna use it. And it's so intuitive. And right now even is gonna help you to code. Because for example, I don't know if you've been trying to do it before, like me, many years ago, okay, I've got a script runner like here, I've got a console and right, so like what to do next? That was really, really big problem for him. It's like, okay, yeah, I've got some tutorials, just copy paste. Most of the time they didn't work because you know, something was missing. And even coding in a console before, it was a problem because it yes, was, <laughs> I don't know, we've been trying actually to update this for maybe years, but, was never that intuitive. And yes, there was some like third party tools which you can install, probably paid one connected. Like for instance, I use code and it was very, 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 very hard to do it. So now it will ever, I believe everything, it will change. I'm just gonna show you why. So just like for reference, I wanna show you something. This code that you can see on the left hand side equals this code on the right hand side. Because I just wanna explain you something. If you are planning, it's a very, very, very important. If you are planning to migrate, maybe to happy, your old code is going to work. So you don't need to really worry that there's going to be some problem of compatibility. Even after my my my, my long conversation, with that, even you know, you can use the, that hybrid mode, as I call it. So you can have a little bit coded in 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 like old old way like this on the left hand side and you can basically gradually move it to the to happy your code over for instance like days months or whatever whenever you want so it works in the i call it like the mix mode yes and what is very very important yeah it is you know it is 100 percent compatible with the old code of course you know if we do the upgrade because i would believe it or not that's not always the case sometimes especially like a few years ago when I've updated um, script around to the latest version, there was something like, for instance, some reference change, mainly because uh, Atlassian decided to change something in the API. And you have to, of course, you know, make sure that you track the problem, <laughs> update it, um, save it, and yeah, it was working fine. So now that everything changes. So by the way, please, please, I'm referring you to uh, going to Adaptavis website and read about this. You can also have a, some really, really cool documentation. Yes, I'm gonna post everything into the description. Plus I've got some something for some, some special. So every code, what you will be, what you actually see on this video during this presentation, I also gonna post a link to my GitLab or GitHub, I believe it is Git, 
GitHub on my GitHub. So yes, please download, you know, you can actually use it for free. And on top of it, I'm going to show you some hack how to code this much, much even faster than copying pasting because that tool is completely built in right now to the console. All right, so let's get to it. So what I'm going to do right now is, of course, navigate to a script console. And from here, I'm going to give you only a few examples how to do it. And I'm absolutely sure you can replicate this in your own instance in like almost a second. Okay, so I don't want to show you what was the old method in regards to create, um, a, let's say, an issue. So as the, as, as the example, let's actually create an issue. Okay, so this is going to probably surprise you a lot. So we go for issues and look at this. Now, if I hit dot, something incredible happened over here. So it's like if this, this tool has been completely redesigned. Yeah, and I select, of course, great. And by the way, you know, feel free what to, to, to experiment with that. So let's create an issue for my demo scrum projects. Okay, so again, before I have to just like, you know, all get this all information before we start right now. No, look at this. I'm gonna use this method open. There you go. There is a list of projects. Oh, and by the way, if you've got thousands and thousands of projects, don't worry, that works incredible fast. I've tested this on, on my other production environment, which I've got something like close to 700 product, uh, 700 projects, and it works incredible well. All right, so, so it's comma, and again, I'm gonna open, sorry, no, this one is this one. And again, I'm gonna go for task. Cool. So now let's create a summary, yeah, because in my case, I've got very, very simple uh, project is the demo. So I only need the summary. So go, let's go set summary open and I'm going to call it my new demo ticket, ticket from console. And because it is absolutely minimum, I'm going to hit run. And look at this DS 36. Let's go to that main next tab go for 36 and there you go I have my first tickets created this is guys incredible so so to me it's like still mind-blowing like let's be a little bit more creative yeah so I would like to add maybe a few custom fields and I would like to also add maybe let's say labels why not so let's set so I'm going for set so much small set labels and look at this do I need to know what labels I have absolutely not because he's gonna help me to do that and by the way if for instance I miss that go back to this open quotation and hit control and space and there you go I'm gonna go lab go demo but let's go let's go for two lab next what else let's go and set custom fields so again, you know, this is game changer, guys. This is, I'm so excited because for me, it is absolutely game changer. And I have actually very, um, not very large, but I've got something like PC equipment list, which is a single choice. So before, I'm not sure if you know, before, to just, to just, just code like this, you have to probably um, use mm, about 20 lines of the code, you know? So again, a list is there, so I need to go comma, and again, I'm gonna open this and look at this. I have, it doesn't work, so, it's, so yes, I already found a little problem with if you use the special character, but I think I know how to do it. So let's, not, let's use something like this. Let's put docking station, okay? Next one, let's add maybe a signy. Why not? And again, let's open this and it's only me. So it was, guys, can you believe it? How quick it is, how quickly you can create a ticket. Let's do it. And there you go. I've got 37. So let's go to my next tab. By the way, I don't need that. Let's go to 37. There you go. It is there. All right. So now I'm going to give you another example. Oh, and by the way, the stuff that actually you're seeing in the console, you can literally, literally copy paste this and put it into post function. And if, you, by the way, if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But if you really, really like it, let me know. 
I'm going to provide you a few more examples how to do it. You know, we're going to maybe have some fun with more complex stuff. But okay, so now let's maybe edit that the DS37. So we're going to use a little bit different uh, method. Yeah, so I'm going to basically delete that. Okay, so now let's update the same issue. So we go for that. Let's go like this. Def issues. Sorry, issue, not issues. Equals issues. Yes. And get my key. There we go. Let's go for our 37. Yep. And now we have to say uh, what is going to be that will be issue. Yep. Dot update. Update. It's not update, it's update actually. Okay, cool. And now let's maybe what we're going to do. Let's update our summary. So you're going to say set summary open and let's have my new demo summary. All right. Okay, so let's see. 37 summary is here. Let's update, run. And also, can you can you can actually see guys how quick it is? And look at this, it is updated. So now let's have a little bit more fun. Let's be a little bit more creative with this. Yeah. So we go for maybe set comments. Yeah. We like say my new comment. Comment. Yeah. And let's maybe say set description but there is a little twist with this yeah so we're going to put my new description yep cool okay so we're going to run this but there will be a little problem yeah so we update this and there is my new description so so whatever you put so make like let's say IAA run it yeah. It is actually overwriting. So how to stop overwriting, guys? This is again so so cool. So again, we will delete that and I'm gonna say here append. Yeah. My description. Let's run it. And there you go. It is there. And of course, you know, even even I've got I've got this in my code. Uh, even you can actually use them the the, the GR markups, like for example this one. Yeah? And by the way, yeah, I've got this this code for you. So let's see how that is going to work. Yeah, good test. Let's run it. Thirty-seven. Cool. So it is there. So you can probably see right now how powerful this feature is but hold on don't go anywhere because i've got something more so guys if you are really like thinking okay do i really need to go into the documentation the documentation is amazing by the way and yes the has told me that they will be they, they will try to put more stuff into that so 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 i'm so yeah we're hoping it's gonna be actually more plus though there will be some probably scripts library in the future but now let me show you something even even like that that's like basically that should be illegal by the way so you go to the script snippets yeah snippets snippets and look at this if i would like to add a comment so just click on that copy come on and look at this so i don't really need that yeah i'm gonna go for my ds dash 37, my new comment, run it. Let's check it. <laughs> it's there. I've got so much fun with this. And again, you know, so I highly, highly, highly recommend for you to, to just have some fun with this because even, you know, even for me to run a JQL before, oh my God, that was absolutely nightmare. Let me show you something. So we go for DS and the issue type is task. And basically that's it. So I'm not sure if you've been doing this before, but to just to just for this literally one line, you have to produce a script at least 10, 15 lines, you know, look at this, bang. And it is so, 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 so quick. And as I told you before, you can also use this functionality to actually, mm, it's obviously it's not just, it's just for the console, it's for the console is just to learn this, but you can use this in 
post functions in validators and conditions. So what you need to do right now, test this. If you already have your Jira cloud or, or Jira data center, uh, what you can do is just to update it. There's no any extra fee. It is going to work straight away out of the box and just have some fun with the script. Okay, so thank you very much for today. I hope you like this video. And of course, you know, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And as I told you before, I put everything, including the script. So because I've got a large collection of the scripts into my GitLab with the link. Plus, of course, you know, you're going to get access to the documentation. And by the way, you're going to see more videos on that playlist. Thank you very much. Hope you see you in the next video.